Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. This channel is about foreigners and Filipinas. I married my wife eight years ago in 2015. Very quick relationship. And um, I think more men need to consider looking to the Philippines for a wife. Unless they want to be alone the rest of their life, which probably would have happened to me. So one benefit I have found, among others, with my Filipino wife is I don't overeat anymore. You know, I got married at 53. So that's a long time of getting used to the way you do things. And I've been very active, you know, so I, I guess I burn stuff off. But the reason this is important, and, and please leave comments here if you can relate to this or whatever you've learned from your Filipino wife. When I went to meet her the very first time, after talking for just a few weeks on online, uh, of course, you're eating with the family, and the family is excited to host you and, and make rice and uh, whatever kind of meat they had. Um, maybe it was hash, maybe, uh, you know, fruits and, um, you know, chicken a lot of the time. And uh, I guess I must not have shown good manners, you know. I was just, it was such a surreal experience just to be there in the first place. So I just ate, and of course, if they said, um, would you like some more, sir? Well, yeah, sure, I got I got plenty of room. So I'd eat, and you know, and then one day before I left, she said, um, hon, you eat more than my whole family. I eat more than their whole family. Well, maybe I need to discipline the way I eat, but can you relate to that with your Filipina? She's probably smaller and in general doesn't eat as much as you do, of course, and probably doesn't eat as much as other women in America. But that was my first experience. So I have been much more careful since then. Now at home, I remind myself to eat what I need. That's better for me. If I'm not going to have a very active day, there's no reason to be eating just because I ate a certain amount yesterday. And so that you know, talking like that to myself, you know, is something that is, I have needed to stop overeating. If you're in training for something, you might need to eat more. I'm sure you will. But it's just eating and adjusting for the activity level, learning about what foods do. Like overeating foods with a lot of sugar, it's easy to overeat bad food, processed food, than it is to overeat good healthy food. For example, meat. That's beef, chicken, turkey. It's really hard to overeat that because you don't have any blood level, blood sugar level uh, surges, rises and falls, you know, spikes uh, and then drops that make you more hungry. And then you eat more of that same food to give you the energy that it gave you the first time, except that doesn't last as long and you're hungry and you, there's food in your in your belly, but you feel hungry because of what it's doing to your blood sugar levels. So eating more sensibly, I really don't eat fast food anymore. I mean, if we're on a trip, I suppose I would, but the sugar stuff I've really had to eliminate, that has made a big difference in not overeating. And then just realizing that, look, my wife is teaching me how to save food. Uh, because she, if she can't finish it, she just saves it. I never did that before. I always wanted to eat it. But I do try to restrain my appetite better these days with food. So um, even though I am older now, I'm still learning from my love beyond the sea.